New Game Plus is madness. Let's chat. Game culture has progressed so much in the past decade alone. From graphical enhancements to new and ambitious ideas, there's always something new to sink your teeth into. One of my favorite genres is the Souls games, be it Dark Souls, Bloodborne, or even Code Vein. I love exploring the magnificent worlds and trying out the weird weapons that they may have to offer. I mean, it's not often that a game allows you to smack people with God's literal arm! Plus, I've met some of my favorite characters from these games, like Solaire, Eileen, and Eo. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father, for making Eo so dummy thick. But nothing is perfect. There are definite issues with these games, like balancing problems with items, or the fact that if you play with friends, you have to reinvite them back constantly. I mean, come on, you're practically forcing us to go through a mini soap opera every time we defeat something. Yeah! Yes! We actually did it! We did it! We did it! No! No! You can't leave yet! Look at all we've accomplished! I'm sorry, brother, but it is time for me to depart. Please don't leave. It was an honor playing with you, brother. No! Damn it! No! Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'll invite you back after the cutscene. However, I don't think there's anything I disagree with more than the concept of difficulty. This genre typically requires you to learn how to perfect abilities and min-max your characters if you want to win. Which is cool. But the way they try to extend longevity through New Game Plus is just outright boring and lame. To give some context to exactly what I'm ranting about, New Game Plus is a mechanic that allows you to replay the same game with your pre-existing character that you've already completed it with. The real kicker is that all the enemies are stronger and deal more damage. This forces players to essentially get good as you can make less mistakes. However, quite frankly, this difficulty spike is completely nullified by anybody who knows what they're doing. I mean, with the lack of brain activity needed to fight against them, I might as well use my spare brain cells to read something about the laws involving murder considering what's about to happen to this poor soul for the second time. Once you know how the enemy works, it just becomes this tedious mess of a lengthier battle that you're doing for the second time. God, I can only imagine that the unpainted intern who thought of such an idea must have been promoted so fast it made the toilet paper flying off the shelves look like a snail's pace. Overall, it just lacks any ambition that I previously talked about, and feels as if it was just slapped on last second. Despite that, most of these games still stick with this exact formula. I mean, yes, there are multiple endings, but that barely adds any reason to replay when it's a simple difference of you die, you die in a cool way, or you die and become a fucking squid thing. With that said, if you also happen to get the good ending, like I do because I'm too thorough for my own good, then what's the point of replaying it just to do bad? At that point, I'd rather just make a new character and enjoy the fun that is making another abomination. Still, despite all this, it definitely does please the masses, and this can be seen in other game genres too that think bullet sponges are entertaining. Like Legendary Mode in the Elder Scrolls and Fallout series, or Destiny. No, not that Destiny, the other Destiny. You know, the one that was actually fresh and was used for more than a paperweight and a coffee coaster. But with that said, why change something if it works? You know, now that I think of it, maybe it's not so much the Souls games that I have an issue with, but the lack of creativity overall that has been put into the games to spike difficulty. The Souls games are just a good example of this, as it's like their main thing, but other games do it as well. I mean, yeah, it may let you have a little extra fun, but it definitely won't pull everyone in like it did the first time. I think a good example of a way to add more replayability to a game is Borderlands 2. This game also happens to have a New Game Plus system. New Game Plus almost works the same way, however, in this game, new enemies are added along with the difficulty spike. This reinforces a change in playstyle that was not necessary previously, and you actually have to put some thought into what weapons you'll need to defeat certain enemies with due to the elements. And I find this slight change to be most beneficial. In fact, I would argue that Borderlands 2 has been one of the only games I've found New Game Plus to be as fun as the first playthrough. There are also other ways to extend shelf life on something, like adding a mod kit to let the community make content, having initial playthroughs branch off to new choices, or dare I say, pull a doki doki and have the first playthrough just be the beginning of everything that's going on. <sighs> Look, all I'm trying to say is go the extra mile if you want to add length to something. I mean, why fight the same generic boss when this time you can make him suddenly split into two enemies? And he has an army of pink guys at his disposal, you know? Just change things up a little bit here and there. After all, we come to play games for the experience of something new, or at least additive onto what we already love. So if it's practically the same thing, why add it in the first place? I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. And I'm sure you have a different opinion, so if you do, leave a comment below. I love hearing about other people's opinions, because it's what makes us well-rounded individuals when we see other people's perspectives. 
And you know, if you've enjoyed my content, why not subscribe or leave a like or do a backflip into a pile of ashes? Trust me, I'll know that you did it. <laughs> and special thanks to Scott and Luke for actually helping me with the acting side of this. You know, the stupid little skit you saw. <laughs> and Forrest for actually letting me use his camera. I don't actually have any camera stuff myself yet, so it was really nice of him to actually allow me to use his stuff. Either way, I hope that I can do more with this kind of little sub-series, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. And thank you for watching. Yep. What happens when you don't subscribe? I'm just gonna keep awkwardly dancing. Get in there, Scott. Oh. Prepare for trouble. Make it.